thing again. I'm like, saying that you came at me with the same line. I've had to put up at 31 years old and deal with men's bullshit. You're living in a first I, world country. I, You're I, in Miami, one of the most posh places on the planet, complaining about double standards that you participate in. The nerd. I, corrected you that I don't go to clubs. So you're okay, ma'am. I just gave an example. You've right. been to clubs. I didn't say you continue to go. That's not the point now, is it? But see, that's another way of you trying to get me online and then correcting me because I'm a dumb man. I get the point. No, you're, I mean, you're very rude and very aggressive. No, I'm very direct. And when you were doing this to the men, you had no problem showing your dick. I'm just, I'm just acknowledging Why? your balls. Why? You're a tough woman. Why? Why should I? Why? Be because I'm just giving what you give. I'm reflecting okay. back what you give to people. But see, the thing is, you're okay giving this to people. Okay. I'm just okay. challenging what you think. The, these were my opinions when I came in here. I'm the one that presented these opinions. I just listened to you for two nights say these things, and I'm just talking to you one on one. And you're not backing down. I'm just, I'm, I'm just challenging I'm what you say, man. To a bunch of weak ass men, tell me that I'm not attractive and I'm not this and I'm not that because I am not going to back down and listen to somebody. Bunch, okay, are you saying the men in the room with you are a bunch of weak ass men? If you think that I should have to accept less, than no, ma'am, I don't think you should have to do anything you don't want to. You're, a, you're a free person, but I'm trying to understand who are the weak ass men you're referring to? The Amazonia, because who are the, who are the weak ass men you're referring to? Who are the weak ass men you're referring to? What did I just say? Do I, I need didn't to hear you because you because okay. you kind of start talking over me? So could you repeat it? A bunch of weak ass men doing what? Yes. When somebody sits here and tells me I need to accept an unfair situation, that if we applied it to anything else in life other than men and women, wouldn't be accepted by everybody in this room. But you're gonna tell me that I'm gonna tell you that's bullshit. And that's okay. not fair. Okay, can I, is it my, oh, can, I, can I give a response? There's a million issues in our culture and society today that people are fighting for fairness, but yet I'm sitting here sitting saying, hey, I'm allowed to expect it too, and I'm going to be attacked and told. Okay, to okay can I respond now? Different. Okay, no, let me tell you something. First of all, men don't worry about fair. The sexual marketplace is not fair. All is fair in love and war. It's not fair. There are guys that out there that you wouldn't give the time of day who could have a harder goal because they don't hit your mark. You oh, no, ma'am. I let you speak. You don't know that. No, I know that you don't give every man a chance is what I do know. You don't. Well, actually, you don't know that at all. Okay. You give. Okay. Are you saying that you are the one female on the planet that will give every man who wanted you a shot? No, I am not. Okay, then I can assume that that was correct. Let's well, move on. Well, that, let's not get lost in. Okay, that's a deflection. Let's not get lost in that. Not a deflection. You're talking about unfairness. Unfairness. Where in the world is it fair like you need it to be? Is it fair for you here in America? No, no ma'am. I ask you, where in the world is it fair? Like, I'm not complaining about it. I'm not. I, I'm not. I, I deal with it. Mm -hmm. I deal with the unfairness and overcome it because I'm a man and I can deal with it. And I'm asking you, where is this place? That, where is where is this ideal place? Where's the ideal model? It doesn't exist. Exactly. There are three women here sitting like here, never wanting to go on a date again. <laughs> well, no. How about not wanting to go on a date? What's happened in this world more than anything else is mankind has learned how to get along with each other since recorded history. But along and around the 60s, when the National Organization for Women, the ERA, Phyllis, not Phyllis Schlafly, she was on our side. When all of this stuff came in, feminism, second wave, feminism, I'm a feminist. I believe in feminism. Feminism is about That's choice. Not, yeah, no, you really are. Excuse me, ma'am. Feminism in its true form is about choice. I don't even want to hear it. Yeah, we don't this have a choice right now with what's going on. You have a choice. She just oh, exercised one right now. It got too hot. She left. Feminist. Shit be fair. See, it's about choice. If a woman wanted to be a housewife, she could do it. If she wanted to be a business person, she could do it. See, the choice was about all black people wanted was a choice, freedom, to be have an equal shot, not equal outcomes. Men accept these things. You don't hear men complaining about fair. If Donovan and I were playing a game of football or video game, if he was kicking my fucking ass, I would be a punk to sit up and say, it's not fair. My controller's not working. The game is rigged. That's not fair. You're better. Do you know? I would have to just take my ass whooping, take my L's and get better. That's what men well, do. That you guys choose to be this way. And we like, we don't want to choose to be that way. We want to be different. We want, we don't want somebody that's going to cheat. We don't want anybody like we want someone that's, 
that's going to be faithful? Why do we have to settle for these types of things that you're saying? Well, like, first of all, you don't have to settle for anything. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. But what also does not have to happen is men don't have to be counter to their nature to make you happy. And that's okay. So what's the issue? The issue is that men are not the ones complaining about the state of relationships and dating as much as women are. Women wanted freedom of choice. Women wanted to be able to have sex with who they wanted to, marry who they want to, love who they want to, work where they want to, not work where they want to, go every place that men could go. You are the most free, most liberated group of women that ever existed on the human history, and yet you're the most unhappy. One in four out of you on some sort of psych meds. Women are, the marital rate is dropping with modern women. What else do you want men to do? We've civilized the world in general. We don't even have wars. You can do whatever you want to. And you're still not happy with the world that men built, telling us that we're not good enough because we don't move like women. We're not going to. I just feel like you guys don't put in effort. I feel wow. like the most most of you are, you are serious. Not, I do feel like you're serious. That I don't put in effort. I mean, the way that you're talking, it doesn't seem like it. Like no, but she's right in a, in a sense because oh, wow. just what you guys are saying. Most guys today, that's eighty percent of guys that you, you guys think are used to it. So you guys there's, just don't used, there's more. Effort. There's more what? guys on, used to what? To not putting in effort. You oh, guys are so oh, used to women no. just falling at your oh, lap. Oh, oh, so I was born this way. Is it's that because it? the twenty three year olds matter. And not but you know what? But the guys, uh, let's let's not get lost in this because when they can get into VIP by just being the hottest woman in the club, that's okay. Why is that your only argument? Yeah, and because it's the one that everybody understands. Because it's the one that everyone understands. And I could use more. Trust me, I'm a smart guy. I can give you more. <laughs> but the point of the matter is, it's the one we understand. And the double standard benefits you, you're okay with it. What effort are women putting in today? Women still want men to move in a traditional way, but yet you're not traditional women. Is there a crickets say. button? I, I'm confused. How I'm asking men to act in a traditional way. Yes, you want men to be traditional. I mean, most I, women. Okay, I, I run a show that has anywhere from fifteen to twenty thousand people watching every night. And a, women from women around the world consistently say they want a man that's earning in the high five, low six figures. They want to have two to three kids and be married. Most women want the top 10% of men. You can go watch my channel and see this bared out. Black, white, Asian, Hispanic, Middle Eastern, and other across the board. All these women are given an option. Do you want to have to work to pay significant bills after you're pregnant? The answer comes back overwhelmingly no, meaning they want to be traditional stay-at-home housewives. They weren't raised that way. They weren't cultured that way. They're not even equipped to be that way, but yet they, and if you ask them, could you date an average guy earning $50,000? Even women coming straight out of college, turn their nose up. Men I, accept yeah. this. Excuse me, ma'am. Men I, accept I, it. Can, can I finish my example? Yeah, you said he's making $80,000 and that wasn't enough. Okay, so men accept this. Men yeah, accept men accept the fact that college men accept the fact that they're in school right now with women, their own age, that 80 years ago, they could have married and had a family early on. Now they're looking at these same women and these same women would not even look at these guys unless they're making six figures. Men have accepted the unfairness